look at animals and they're not all just competing with non-relatives and things. Animals like forego competition at certain points. Animals would have the potential to be aggressive to other animals and they will forego doing so. And there's one circumstance in which that can happen where you get what is called a rock, paper, scissors scenario. You've got animals A, B, and C. A has a means of damaging B, but it costs A. B has a means of damaging C, but it costs B. C can damage A, but it costs A. And you get the right distribution of individuals with one of those traits in a population, and you will reach a rock, scissors, paper equilibrium where nobody is doing anything rotten to each other. Great example, totally cool example that got published some years ago by a guy named Brendan Bohannon, who was assistant professor in the department here at the time. He was studying something or other about bacteria showing a rock, paper, scissors circumstance. You had three different types, three different versions of this bacteria in this colony he had made. The first one could generate a poison, but it cost. It had to put the effort into making that poison and protecting itself from that poison, all of that. The second type was vulnerable to the poison. It happened to have some transporter on its membrane that took up the poison, and that was bad news, but it had an advantage, which is the rest of the time that transporter took up more food. The third one, the third one, the good thing going for it is that it didn't have, the bad thing was it didn't have poison, the good thing going for it was it didn't have to spend energy on a poison and it didn't have that transporter. So each one of those has a strength. Each one of those has a vulnerability. They're like, I don't know, Pokemons or something. And you put them all together there and you get a rock, paper, scissors scenario where you get equilibrium where they are not attacking each other. Because note, if I am A and I destroy B, B's no longer wiping out C, who's the one who could damage me. It's got to come to an equilibrium state. So you can get the evolution of stalemates like that, and that's quite frequently seen. And note here, this was the evolution of stalemates, not in chimps, not in cetaceans, but in bacteria. What we're going to see is bacterial behavior to the extent that this is sort of a metaphor for behavior, behavior of all sorts of unlikely species are subject to these same rules of passing on copies of your genes. These three different strains of bacteria are competing with each other. None of them are behaving for the good of the species there of the three of them. So rock, paper, scissors is very cool, and you get versions of that in humans, and that's been sort of studied quantitatively, all of that. But that's not real cooperation. That's merely everybody realizing we have to cut back on the competition. We have to cut back on the aggression, because every time I damage whoever, I am more vulnerable in another realm. That's a stalemate. That's a truce.